Would you go on a voyage entirely dedicated to poker players? That's the question I've been asking myself for the past 10 months about the upcoming WPT voyage taking off from Miami. In this video, I'm doing a deep dive on WPT Voyage. I spoke with President Adam Pliska from the WPT and Executive Tour Director Matt Savage to get better insight from them. I scoured countless YouTube videos about the Virgin Voyages and a week ago I knew nothing about cruises and now I feel like I might actually be a fan. <laughs> In this video we're gonna go over the poker involved, the amenities on board, potential food options, the side events they have planned, and a bunch more as we go down the rabbit hole of what is WPT Voyage. Stay tuned for later in the video. I'm gonna be giving away one cabin pass in partnership with WPT to one of my fans from the Legion to go represent. We also have giveaways on Instagram and on Twitter right now. And I'm drawing the winner Tuesday, tomorrow night. Without further ado, enjoy the deep dive and let's get into it. All right, Legion, let's get into this deep dive. And first, let me give you some context on who the World Poker Tour is and how they came to decide to take over an entire ship. So the World Poker Tour was founded in 2002 by Steve Lipscomb and Lyle Berman. I had Steve Lipscomb on my podcast before. He gave the whole entire story about how the WPT came to be. And now back in 2002, you know, poker now in 2024, very different state. In 2002, it really wasn't that popular. The only real poker content was a movie called Rounders. And then, uh, you know, Rounders was like a, a cult classic hardcore movie. Every poker fan has to see Rounders. And then we started seeing the world WSOP be on television. We started seeing the WPT get on television. And the content was out there on a regular basis. So on ESPN, WPT was on Travel Channel. And right around when Chris Moneymaker won, the WPT started going crazy. WSP started going crazy. Poker started going nuts. It was everywhere. You had Gus Hansen. You had all these famous people that were a big part of the poker boom right around this time. And WPT was a company that is commonly credited for being a big part of that. So World Poker Tour was mainly a live events company putting on tournaments all across the world. They have their WPT Champions Cup, which goes to all their WPT main event winners. Now it's called the Mike Sexton Cup in honor of the legend Mike Sexton. WPT was first sold to Party Gaming in 2009 for $12.3 million. To 2015, Party sold it to Our Game Holdings for $35 million. 2018, Black Ridge Acquisition Corp purchased the company and renamed themselves Allied Esports Entertainment. And then the big change recently came in 2021 when Element Partners purchased the company for $78.3 million. Now, for a long time, the World Poker Tour was primarily a live events company. They weren't an online poker company. They have a subscription-based platform called Club WPT that seems very popular and seems to do very well. met a lot of their players. On Club WPT, it's a monthly subscription and you don't gamble any real money at the tables. You pay one subscription fee and then you get to compete in events with different prizes, sometimes experiences, sometimes real money. So after the World Poker Tour was sold in 2021, they partnered up with Poker King Asia. And Poker King Asia was a poker site primarily available over in Asia. Tom Dwan was involved. Uh, Phil Ivey was involved. They were both sponsored players. So they launched WPTGlobal.com and now they had the World Poker Tour, main events, Club WPT, and WPT Global. So to start marketing WPT Global, they started bringing on big YouTube influencers like Brad Owen, Andrew Nimi, Rampage Poker. They sponsored shows such as Hustle Casino Live. And now the World Poker Tour wanted to make even a bigger splash when they rebranded their December event in Las Vegas to the WPT World Championship, which the first year was last year, took place at the Wynn Casino. I worked with them on that event. That was a great event. Everyone was excited about it. They basically took over December and made it a December to remember in Las Vegas, you know, a World Series of Poker in the wintertime. In fact, it was so successful that next year they upped their guarantee to $40 million and which caused the World Series of Poker to launch a direct competitor to this championship event down in the Bahamas. They called it WSP Paradise. So now World Poker Tour had success with this event and they decided, you know what? Let's push the boundaries even further. Let's take over a ship. I asked President Adam Pliska 
how the idea came to be. And he said that he was on Necker Island with Richard Branson. Richard Branson is a billionaire. He's the founder of Virgin. He decided to make up, I was doing research on this. He decided to just, he didn't like the cruises. So he made up his own cruise. Basically Adam Pliska, Richard Branson, they were talking ideas. Uh, Richard Branson said, we just launched this adults only ship. That's perfect for your demographic, perfect for poker players. Why don't you throw a World Poker Tour event on the ship? So Adam Pliska decided, you know what? No gamble, no future. He decided, let's make this happen. And the WPT Voyage was officially born. So people wanna know, Poppy, what's going on on this voyage? I asked that same question, what's happening on the voyage? Now I put in about 25 hours researching voyages. So I'm a blossoming voyage expert. So basically WPT's taking over the whole ship, March 31st to April 6th, sailing out of Miami. And uh, they're gonna have poker events. They're gonna have parties. Basically with your cabin pass, you get free food, all 20 restaurants on there. You get free essential drinks, Wi-Fi, tips are included, group fitness classes. And uh, basically it's a poker city. It's a big ass party on a voyage for seven days. We've dived deeper into the event. I think a lot of people are gonna be excited for different reasons. Now we take a look at the poker. They're gonna have actually have a pretty uh, wide variety of poker tournament offerings from $150 nightly events to $25,000 high rollers. They have PLO, they have Texas Hold'em. They have, they're gonna have a 5K buy-in main uh, WPT championship event. They're gonna have $1,100 prime event. They're gonna have a 25K high roller event as well too. And they reserved $1,100 for PLO. Thank you guys for appreciating PLO so well. <laughs> Everybody disrespects PLO, it is what it is. We're used to it. They're also gonna have cash games and everyone's been sure to emphasize that the rake only goes up to $5, a 10% cap. Now usually on cruise ships, they sometimes charge you a lot of rake because they can, there's no competition. They can charge whatever they want. On this one, they've been sure to say compare competitive rake, so. That sounds pretty good. They got the pajama special meetup game. And if you guys have never been to a meetup game that WPT puts on, uh, it's a lot of fun. I was at the one last year at the WPT championships. It's all fans, it's all hardcore fans. Uh, Rampage is gonna be there. Andrew Nimi, Lynn Gomar, and Vince Ben Patton, Tony Dunst, the Royal Flush crew. And uh, yeah, I mean, basically it's a really good time. Um, I've always enjoyed them going to these in the past. Invitational at the Grand Cayman with uh, with my man, Matt Savage, featuring a thousand dollar buy-in for 18 holes of golf. They're doing a beach party with DJs at Bimini Beach Club. They said there's gonna be parties on board and they somehow have a, a pickleball invitational with my man, Vince Ben Patton. So, you know, I, I, one thing about WPT is they love to do the side events. They like the parties. They like to have a good time. They try to create this Jovial atmosphere where, uh, you know, it's a little bit different kind of vibe than you might see at some poker events. So people have been asking what's happening on the ship. Like I said, and this one, I still don't understand the economics behind this, but apparently there's free food everywhere. And now they have some special restaurants. You can make reservations and you don't have to pay for anything or tip. I wish that came to Vegas. In Vegas, it's free drinks where you got to pay for food, but you get to drink for free. But at restaurants, you still got to pay for your drinks. So here, somebody's please got to tell me in the comments, how do they give away the food for free? So the itinerary, they're leaving from Miami on the 31st, coming down to the wire, 6 p.m., be in Miami or you're not gonna go. They're sailing, like I said, for about six days. They're stopping at Grand Cayman Island, or Georgetown Cayman Islands. They're stopping at the Beach Club in Bimini, Bahamas. And then they're back home in Miami, seven days later. Are you gonna be up money? Are you gonna be down money? I heard my man Rob Young, he said he's throwing a high stakes poker game on there with Jean Robert Balland. So if you want to go play with those crazy guys, they're going to be down there. Now the cabin setup can run you from anywhere from $1,300, $1,375 up to $6,400 for the mega Rockstar quarters. Rockstar quarters, $3,500 as well too. So $1,300 for free food for seven days. Doesn't seem actually seem that bad to me. They got a social, it's insider. They got the sea view. They got the sea terrace. I'm going to be giving away a couple of these sea terraces cabins as well. So I say not bad in terms of pricing, uh, seven days, you know, if you get seven days in Vegas, if you say seven days at the win, you're probably paying about $3,000 or more, depending on the time of year you're coming. So for me, $1,300 actually seems like a pretty good deal just to get you on the boat for seven days. I did do some research watching a, a bunch of YouTube videos about what's going on in this ship. And they told me that you got to bring red for Scarlet Night. And some questions I was asking myself is what kind of people are going to be on a poker cruise, a ship dedicated for poker players only? Good players, bad players, recreational players, 
Uh, listen, I'm thinking the cash games are going to be a lot of out of line activity. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people out there grinding, taking it seriously. Uh, like Adam Pliska said, it's choose your own adventure. You can go out there, have a good time. You can go out there and grind. You can go out there and relax. See a lot of people. See some of your favorite poker players. And uh, me right now, I'm still on the fence. I'm getting a few things taken care of my living situation here in Las Vegas. But I'm sending some Legion members out there to represent. So I'm pretty excited about that. We're going to have some Legion representation there. I was able to sit down with president and CEO of the World Poker Tour, my man Adam Pliska, ask him some questions about the voyage. It is not your grandparents' cruise. You know, it's not, it is a very different, it's a very different environment, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it'll it'll be a, I think it'll be one of the great memories uh, uh, that, that poker puts out this year. And so I then went down on his birthday voyage and which, was great. I'd been on cruises before. I'd been on many cruises. We've had cruises and it's a completely different experience. I mean, it's just one, it is if Richard Branson and Virgin decided that they were going to do a cruise ship, right? It's like we did um, a traditional cruise where we had rooms. It was successful. It was, you know, uh, people loved it. Then we uh, put in a WPT poker room, um, which was uh, great. And now we've taken the big step of chartering the whole ship. So it's basically having a poker city. And yes, it is a fun environment. It's a poker reunion. It's for people to get together, have fun. All the poker com mini communities can come together, uh, meet up, have a good time. But there is a, there is a championship event going on. So it's probably absolutely the best uh you know your your best chance to get your name on the mike sexton's champions cup you showed up at one of our club wpt reunions <laughs> and you were like gave like such a night you were just on your own just you know talk to them and engage with them and i thought that was so nice because you know a lot of club players they're they they love to play they love to play recreationally but it's right. but if you look at the overwhelming the overwhelming uh, influence of poker is positive. I mean, it is the thing that causes people from different backgrounds to sit at a table and to talk. And even if they're trash talking, 95% of the time, it's fun. It's, you know, it's because they're bonding in, in a way. And um, I just, this is such a great, I mean, having been on the ship, I can just tell you that this is an amazing um, and unique circumstance to be able to bring people together in a way that like here you're on a cruise ship w when we go to the party we're gonna be partying together and when we're gonna go shark diving we're gonna go shark diving together and we're gonna be uh you know whatever it is i didn't do shark diving no shark diving. There, i'm not in shark, shark <laughs> you're not in the shark diving shark diving so dangerous i don't the know funny thing, it was like you have to build in what you do and building your who you have become right well, what does that mean? Well, doing multiple things and, and how people see you. And to me, with the World Poker Tour, like you want to have like a mix. What is the right recipe? It's always changing, right? Like, okay, sometimes it's, you know, we have this ambassador coming out. Sometimes we're going to do something fun, like, um, but throw a, you know, throw a main tour event in the center of it and have, have a great time. Sometimes we're going to do the championship, but it's all part of making that friendly but you know pushing the envelope you know like we're trying i mean that's all that's all i want people to say is that the world poker tour is like we're trying you know it's we did great at the prime and we missed the main and the guarantee and uh, you know as long as people feel like we're pushing the envelope and we're just we're we're alive and and we're pushing things forward, then I think we're, we're succeeding. Yeah. Right. Thanks for, thanks. uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks for, Joey. thanks for some of the time and we'll talk soon. I was also able to sit down with executive tour director of the world poker tour, the legend, Mr. Matt Savage, ask him some questions about the voyage. All right. We had, we had to call WPT expert, Mr. Matt Savage. He's, he's checking in from the car on the way to maybe do some more golfing or pick up his kids. Yeah. It's, uh, basically it started with Adam Pliska. He met Richard Branson and, uh, you know, they kind of threw the idea back and forth. We have a, a room on one of the Virgin Voyages ships already. And because of that, you know, we decided let's do it big. Let's take over the whole thing. And, you know, poker cruising has been happening for a long time, but I don't think anybody's ever seen one quite like this one. A lot of times when you do these 
uh, poker cruises, the rake is pretty high. For us, it's only going to be five dollars, ten percent up to five dollars only. So you don't really see stuff like that, even in the live circuits. You don't see uh, rake that low. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's actually kind of a highlight uh, of the void for me is that you know you can pay with a credit card on events up to three thousand and also for the 5,000 main tour. So you can actually get points for your credit card for doing that. Well, on every vo uh, Virgin Voyage, they have a Scarlet Knight, which everybody dresses up in red. So it's gonna be kind of cool to see all of the poker players in one color. And uh, that's a great party. Then we have the, the meetup game pajama party, which is also gonna be fun. People walking around in uh, pajamas. Sometimes, you know, I've seen lingerie, things like that. That's all allowed on this. It is 18 and over, so, you know, got no problem with doing that kind of stuff. It's fun for everybody. And I, you know, when we go to, uh, yeah, you wear a bracelet and you use that for basically anything you do. So you go to your room, you scan your bracelet. You go to uh, to a bar and you want to order a drink, you scan your bracelet. You go to the dinners, you scan your bracelet. Anything you do, you just scan that bracelet. Now, if there's a charge for anything, they'll charge it right to that bracelet. And it makes it so easy uh, to do that. And I've been on other uh, cruise ships and it's a little bit different. There's not the kind of ease that they have on Virgin Voyages. So I would much rather be on a cruise ship than go on an airplane. I go on a lot of airplanes all the time. I feel completely safe on there. Uh, look at Richard Branson sending people to space safely. So you don't think he's gonna have a Virgin Voyage <laughs> cruise ship that's not gonna be safe. The thing is completely safe. They've never had a problem. And of course, you, you do need to have a passport to get on it. You know, everybody that's on there is pretty much a known poker player or a recreational player that has won their way on there. So yeah, the security is, is high. It's like, I like I never feel unsecure on, on there. Well, I know that uh, marijuana is legal in the state of Nevada, but it's not legal on this ship. Okay. Can't bring that on there. Uh, they do follow, uh, I think, Bahamian law, uh, which says that you can't have that any of that on the boat. But I will tell you that, you know, there's, going to be uh, plenty of opportunities to have a good time, have good parties. And I, I know that, uh, you know, I think that people will really find this event uh, much different than anything else they've ever experienced. Uh, if you go on this for the first time, you're going to be a normal uh, cruise participant. I think you'll love it. Uh, it's definitely completely different than anything you've ever seen me. So hopefully we can get you on the ship there, Joe. This one is the most interesting to me, which is the wearable band, which the wearable band is, uses for all charges. It acts as your bank, and it must be used for purchasing drinks, merchandise, tournament buy-ins, cash game buy-ins. This way you can lock up your wallet and cash for the duration of the voyage. Sounds a little dystopian to me, but I mean, it also sounds uh, pretty... Uh, <laughs> It sounds pretty convenient, especially when you're on the voyage. All right, how do you get money on the ship? People want to know how do you get money on the ship. So you can either wire money in. Must be submitted three business days. Poker players like to wait till the last minute. So now Matt Savage was telling me you can buy in with your credit card. And he was so excited about the idea of using the credit card buy-in for points. And normally in casinos out here in Vegas, you can't buy into a tournament with your credit card. Not that I know of. You can get money out of, you can go to the cage and pay a, a bigger fee and then get money off of your credit card. But to my knowledge, you can't buy in necessarily for your credit card. So on here, you can use your credit card for buy-ins up to 5K. You can't use it for the 10K or 25K high roller. It says each, and this part I, I got a real issue with, the cash game buy-ins with credit card, each sailor will have a maximum of $3,000 daily limit. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine being playing 2-5 and you're in a good game and they tell me you can't get any more money off your thing. That's crazy. So no credit card processing fees are assessed on here. For cash, it says you can bring as much cash as you want to the ship, but please be aware it's up to the sailor to declare any cash over 10K to custom officials. You know, we've heard stories about people not declaring their money coming back from the Bahamas. So everybody decide what you're gonna do. I would declare the cash. So once on board, sailors must deposit the cash into their onboard account at the sailor services to be able to buy into tournaments or cash games with your wearables. So if you wanna buy in for the cash, you can't just show up with the cash. You gotta put it on your wearable account. So you can bring more than 10K on there, but you gotta declare it. Then if you bring 10K off, you once again, you have to declare that as well too. You can also use Luxon Pay, which um, that's a Rob Young uh, entity. So Luxon Pay, you can send board funds to your onboard account by March 25th. And you can also use WPT Global to send funds to your onboard account as well too. So they got a bunch of options to be able to get money on there. Get money off, you can wire the money off. POUS bank account with Visa MasterCard attached. Instant wires up to 50K at the end of the voyage. 
once the wire process has been completed and the sailors accepted the funds, so someone on the finance side is going to be very busy for the World Poker Tour. <laughs> for, I mean, come on, it's going to be a lot of, you're going to deal with thousands of people getting their money. This is a pretty, pretty tall task. If a sailor uses their credit card on buy-ins or anything else in the ship and there's a negative balance at the end of the voyage, that amount will be charged to your card. If there's a positive balance on the account, there will be no charge on the card and the balance will be paid via wire. Cash, however much cash the sailor deposits in their onboard account, sailors can withdraw up to the same amount before leaving the ship. Any balance above and beyond the amount deposited will be wired. Very interesting. Okay, so if you bring on 10K or 20K and you end up winning 100K, they're only going to give you 20K cash and then they're going to wire the rest of the money to you. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people out there have been asking about that. They've been wondering how that's going to work. So hopefully that makes sense. So now we got information. We figured out what we needed to know. Voyage going down, March 31st, poker, food, out of line, and uh, looks like it's going to be a good time. We're going to see, am I going to be on that ship? We're going to find out. The countdown is on. Poppy on the voyage. And now for the giveaway, I'm going to give away one cabin pass as two tickets to the ship. You got to pay for your expenses to get down to Miami. You got to pay for any poker buy-ins and alcohol on there. But if you want to enter the secret code is legion and then tell me why you should pick i'm gonna pick one person i'm actually gonna pick the winner wednesday night i gotta get this person chosen we gotta get them down there to go to the voyage so put down the code first legion to enter tell me why you should win i'm gonna pick one person and i'm gonna announce it on my community tab you gotta be paying attention you got 24 hours to respond or i'm picking a new person so now if you do want to find out more about the voyage you can go to wptvoyage.com get some cabins and uh get in the mix so hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about the voyage from this video. And uh, listen, would you go on a poker voyage? That's the question I have for you. Let me know in the comments below. Appreciate you guys very much. Be back soon. Take care. Peace out. Adios.